One winter's night when the nut-numbing wind blew, the engines found it hard to masturbate before sleeping. Shoo, what we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to a story. I fuck yeah, an erotic story. But, added Duck, it must have a sexy ending. Driver told me a story. I failed no nut November to it, said Thomas. So everyone listened. Once upon a time, began Thomas. There were three fucking little engines who lived on their own little shed on their own little ass crack of a railway. Their names were Duke, Stuart, and Falcon. Duke was the oldest and was named after his grace's dick, the Duke of Sodor. He was super fucking proud of this and wanted to keep the little chodes in order. Damn kids, come on, hurry up and do your work. Whenever they did anything that pissed him off, he would say, Aw, oh, shit! That would never fit his dick! Other engines came and went, but Duke at last of them all. Stuart and Falcon used to call him Grandpa. They loved him a lot, but Duke wouldn't let them near his cock. They really hated this. Sometimes they would tease him and chant, Engines come and go! Grandpa can come no more! Goddamn kids! Duke would yell, what are you engines coming to? Never mind, Grandpa. We're only young once. Well, you better fucking mind. Unless if you want to end up like Smudger. Who the hell is Smudger? Smudging your ass. Ha 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 ha. I don't get it. Just kidding. Or am I? Anyways, Smudger was a shithead. He rode like a maniac and often came off the rails. I warned him to be careful, but he didn't give a shit. Listen here, you fuckface dickhead! Who worries about a few fuck-ups? I don't give a shit. We do hear you, stupid millennial. Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Until one day, the manager said he was going to make him sexy at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. 